previously on how to not be a noob. No running around doing XXX 360 MLG Pro intervention Paisley fakey ladder saw optic collateral no scope headshots. The cold hard facts about it is if you do not spot you will not win. Also Battlefield 3 has vehicles. No not ones that just sit there as decoration. Hello everybody, this is Chris Jones here from TGN Gamer TV, bringing you guys another edition of How to Not Be a Noob. This time, we will be covering Mass Effect 3. So before we really get into things, I figured I'd give you guys a math lesson. Mass Effect 3. The number 3 comes after 1 and 2. If you have not played number 1 or number 2, it would be a very good idea for you to hit up Wikipedia and get a general consensus of what exactly Mass Effect is all about and get the main storyline down from the first two games. Or better yet, since they're probably both dirt cheap right now, just go out and pick up the first two games as well. Now that we all know how to count, Mass Effect 3 is hands down one of the most anticipated games of the year. So, before you even put the disc in, it might be a good idea to have some tissues ready, if you know what I'm saying. New in this rendition of one of the greatest action RPG franchises of all time is multiplayer. Keep in mind that Mass Effect is at its core a single player game. However, this time around, Bioware decided to surprise us all with a nice little treat on the side. So before I forget, let's get back to the single player. Now, I don't want to explain too much here because I don't want to spoil the storyline for you guys as this is a very good action RPG with a nice storyline. However, I want to get some of the basics. There are three different ways that you can experience Mass Effect 3 single player. The first is action, which is much like a typical first person shooter style campaign. There is no character customization yeah, and all conversation will play out as so cutscenes. Next is role-playing, the true heart and soul of the Mass Effect franchise. In role-playing mode, you can customize your character to look like whatever you want, and all conversations are up to you in what you say and how it affects the game. And finally, there is story mode, which is basically role-playing mode minus all the difficult combat. This is probably what you would choose if you want to get right on through the game. My personal choice for playing Mass Effect 3 single player is hands down going to be the role playing mode. Gotta love the traditional Mass Effect experience along with all the intense combat. And since I said that I wouldn't spoil the storyline too much for you, I'll just use the in game's summary of itself. In 2157, humanity discovered it was not alone on the universe. 30 years later, they found a peaceful place among dozens of galactic species, but this idyllic future is overshadowed by a dark past. Reapers, a sentient race of machines responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life 50,000 years, are about to return. The leader of the galaxy are paralyzed by indecision, unable to accept the legend of the Reapers as a fact. But one soldier has seen the legend come to life, and now the fate of the galaxy depends on him. Or her! In Mass Effect 3, you can choose whether to be female Shepard or male Shepard. No, I'm not talking about a built-in cooking minigame. Before starting the campaign, you can actually choose whether to make your character male or female, which I have to say is pretty nice. If you do find yourself having troubles along the way, keep in mind that you can lower the difficulty on the fly. Also, try and not play so aggressive. A lot of times you'll find yourself just running out guns blazing and getting killed by a massive swarm of enemies. Try and stay back a little bit and pick off enemies from a distance. Patience is a virtue. So that's pretty much it for the single player aspect of how to not be a noob of Mass Effect 3. Basically guys, I can guarantee you that the single player will blow you away. And now that that is finished up, let's transition over to multiplayer. Unfortunately guys, there is no competitive style gameplay in Mass Effect 3's multiplayer. There's no team deathmatch, there's no free for all, there's no conquest, it's all cooperative multiplayer. And you'll probably find it to be quite similar to something such as Gears of War 3's Horde Mode or Modern Warfare 3's Survival Mode. So basically, it goes a little bit something like this. You and three other friends are some pretty badass space soldiers, and you are thrown into a hot zone where you need to fight off many waves of enemies who all have their special powers and abilities, 
and you also need to accomplish certain objectives along the way. Ah uh, yes, I did say objectives. Coming from a primarily Battlefield player, I'm very familiar with the term PTFO. For those of you who aren't, PTFO stands for Play the F***ing Objective, which you will definitely need to do. Not only is it very important for the mission itself, you will also get XP points for getting it done quickly and effectively. Mass Effect 3's multiplayer is cooperative, meaning above everything else in the game, the most important thing to have is good teamwork, which means you also need to stick together. For example, whenever a side objective comes up where you need to enable devices in a certain amount of time, it is a great idea to take a buddy along with you, because if you are in the process of enabling one of those devices, you are entirely defenseless and you need somebody to cover your back and bring you back up if you happen to get taken down. And although Mass Effect 3's multiplayer is primarily a team effort, thanks to all of the in-game customization, you'll be able to create your own character's individual personality. There are a total of six different classes you can choose to play as your own character, which all have their own ups and downs. The Adept, the Soldier, the Engineer, the Centennial, the Infiltrator, and the Vanguard, which you can see the descriptions of right below their player model. And along with the six different classes, there's also six different races, excluding the regular human, male, and female. And those are the Asari, the Turian, the Quarian, the Krogan, the Salarian, and the Drell. And since this video is attempting to cover all of Mass Effect 3's multiplayer, I can't go into detail about each individual class. However, if you are interested in learning more about each one, go ahead and check out my channel where I'll have individual breakdowns of each class. So disregarding all the things that actually matter when it comes to your character, one of the most important things in an intergalactic space warfare is to look good. Dang it, you guys weren't supposed to see that! Ah, that's better. In Mass Effect 3, you can change your character's color, pattern, and anything else you want to make him look sexy. So, now that you're finally looking good, and that one guy who's been AFK in your lobby for the past 10 minutes has finally rated up, it's time to get started. So first and foremost, let's cover the heads-up display. In the bottom left-hand corner, you will find your current weapon equipped, along with your ammunition. In the bottom right-hand corner is the kill feed. The bottom center is your health and shields. The red is your health, and the blue is the shield, which will in fact regenerate itself after not taking damage for a certain amount of time. And in the top left hand corner you can see a full list of all of your custom abilities, weapons, and other equipment that you have along with you on the battlefield. So as you play the game you will find yourself gaining experience points, which you will obtain from various things such as playing the objectives, killing enemies, and giving your teammates some serious band-aids. And at the end of each match, it will give you an overview of how things went, all your experience points, your levels up, and things of that nature. Once you're finished with seeing how well you did, you can begin to improve your character. With all that Mass Effect 3 MONEY that you have racked up, you can purchase yourself a Recruit Pack or a Veteran Pack. The Recruit Pack for 5000 XP apiece will get you 5 different items with a small chance of getting an uncommon, while the Veteran Pack costs 20,000 XP it contains the same five different items and you will also be guaranteed an uncommon item. After making your purchases you will find yourself gaining some new weapons or equipment which you can then equip to your character to use in the next battle. You are allowed to have two different weapons equipped, they can be anything you want, sniper rifles, assault rifles, shotguns, SMGs, and pistols, basically any combination that your heart desires, and you can also apply modifications to them to increase their performance. You can also apply new equipment which will improve your character's statistics as well as getting new supplies such as metagel to automatically revive yourself when you are downed. You'll also get level up points along the way which you can use to add and improve new character powers. These powers are class specific and aside from appearance that is what helps decipher them from one another. So that is pretty much everything you guys need to know to prevent yourself from becoming a Mass Effect 3 noob. Lastly, I would like to say when it comes to playing online, don't be a douchebag. And above all else, this is a video game and it's meant to be fun. So if you guys have found this video informative or entertaining, I highly suggest that you click the show link down below and subscribe to that for more episodes of How to Not Be a Noob. As always, likes and favorites are very well appreciated as it helps my own personal channel grow and it also helps the Mass Effect 3 community out by helping to denoobify the noobs. So let's wrap this one up. This has once again been Chris Jones here from TGN Gamer TV. I hope you all enjoyed and thank you all for watching. This video is a part of The Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more,
visit TGN.tv.